better, faster, stronger. But improving your pace in life isn't always easy. We talk the science of speed in tonight's Check Your Health Report. Speed is a skill. Running is a skill. Many people think running is a natural movement, but there's a lot more to it. There's a reason that fast runners, elite distance runners, it looks so easy for them is because they're very skilled at it. To improve the skill, experts at Tosh look at what an athlete is doing wrong. When you move correctly, you reduce your injury risk and you also reduce the energy cost of moving. If you're doing it right, it's easier. They look at foot placement, stride length, and turnover rate. With that information, they make adjustments and ensure athletes are running efficiently. From there, then we put the, um, you know, the conditioning and the power part of it to it. Former high school and college athlete Eric Walker used this program to set him apart from other athletes. I won two state championships in, in the 100 meters in high school at the 3A level. As a multi-sport athlete, he started building a solid foundation at a young age. I think I started really training at about 13 years old. Eric focused on his explosiveness, opening up his stride and covering more ground with each step. You're moving, jumping, changing direction, trying to be fast. Uh, it's really what it focuses on. Practicing fundamentals helps athletes year-round, but off-season training makes the biggest difference. It's really important to take some time off from your primary sport and go back and work on your athleticism, both for a performance st standpoint and for an injury ri risk reduction standpoint. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.